I want to explain the problem solving process that we'll be using and I want to do it using a very simple example. And so this example problem says that a program is required to read three numbers, add them together, and print their total. The very first thing that you need to do when you get a word problem like this is to determine what the inputs of the problem are. The inputs are going to be, um, there'll be keywords to tell you things like read three numbers, input three numbers, something like that. So we're going to create an IPO chart and I'm going to show you in Word, but I'm just going to kind of make a plan here because, you know, oftentimes you have to make changes. And so that's why you don't always work directly in whatever um, your final output is. And so the input here, you might look at this program and you might think that what we're going to write over here is three numbers. But that's not what we want to do. What we want to do is plan ahead and already start to determine uh, what are the variable names that we will use to, to hold these numbers. If we're going to have three numbers input, then we have to have three variables. And we want to go ahead and create names for them. And so why don't we call them num1, num2, and num3. Right? We could call them X, Y, Z. That, those aren't bad names, but this is a little more descriptive that we have three numbers. Then it says it's going to add them together and print their total. And so over here for the output, the output, again, is going to be stored in a variable, and we're going to call that total. Or we could call it answer, or we could call it sum. Those would all be good names that we could use for this. Under our processing steps here, we want to just outline the major things that need to be done. Remember, programming is always input, process, output. And so the first thing we need to do is read our input. And then we need to add the three numbers together. And then we need to display our output. All right, so this is our IPO chart. Now, what I'm really going to want you to do is put this in a Word document. And so let me show you how we're going to do this. So we're going to put your name. You know, this is problem one or whatever. I want you to create, to add, um, insert a table with three boxes here. And this is going to be input, processing, Output. Then under input, we're going to type num1, make this a little bigger, there we go, num2, num3. Now, um, variable names are case sensitive in programming languages. Microsoft Word is going to capitalize these things for you. I won't be really picky about that, but try to pay attention to that. And then my output is going to be total. And my processing steps are going to be read the three numbers, add them together, display the output. Very general steps here. But then we want to take this and turn this into pseudocode. Pseudocode is going to be the actual plan that we code from. I want you to copy your outline because that's basically what this is here. And um, in programming languages, slash slash is how you indicate a comment. So let's just make these three lines comments, and we're going to go underneath them and be more specific about what we're going to do. And so here I'm going to say read num1, num2, num3. So that indicates that I'm going to prompt the user to input numbers, and they're going to get stored in these three variables. Add them together. So you might think that we do this. Num1 plus num2 plus num3. Now that does add them together, but the answer doesn't go anywhere. We want the answer to go in total. And so we're going to use an assignment statement. Total equals. And remember when you use an assignment statement, the left side has to be the variable that is going to get the answer. And then here we're going to say print total. 
And so here is the IPO chart this, and the pseudocode for this problem. And then the desk check will be done um, on, a separate, uh, on a separate place here. Um, we could desk check it very sort of quickly here on this page. So what I can do is, I can type here, um, just to show you quickly what we would need to do. We want to list the variables. And so we'd have num1, num2, num3. So let's say we're going to enter three numbers. Let's say we're going to enter 10, 20, and 30. And so that is doing this first step here. Right? Then the next step, it, it says to take the value. So with an assignment statement, you first look at this side of the assignment statement. You look up what's in num1, which is 10. What's in num2, which is 20. What's in num3, which is 30. 30 plus 20 plus 10 is 60. 60 gets stored into total. So what we're doing here is we're keeping track of what's going on in memory. Then at the bottom, we show our output, and the output says print total. So the value of total is 60, and so we're going to print that out there. And so this shows you um, the complete set of what you will be doing in the exercises in the beginning of this class.